My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon shot him in the back with an arrow. He fell. I don't think he survived. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Tayetos, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never... Alexios! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios. Come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home. <laughs> the cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I told you, Mater. He's beyond reason. Beyond reason? Is that what you told Mother? Why didn't you tell her the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. You don't have a destiny! You are just a tool used by the cult! I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted. And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Alexios? When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Yeah. 
even in the world of beasts. A family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. My destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Alexios, listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again. This belonged to our grandfather. You're home now. I've done terrible things. We all have, Alexios. You can't protect anyone, can you? Maybe we both should have died here that day. But... <gasps> no! The gods are cruel. I tried to save you! Stop living in the past, sister! Your death is now! You've hurt this family for the last time! Oh, ho, ho, ho. But that was so wrong! The hurting has only just begun! Precious cult! Yeah. 
is for Brasidas, and this is for Phoebe!
From the moment I first held you, I knew. You are sent by the gods to protect this world. And you did. Always forward, my brave Cassandra. Thank you for inviting us over. Stentor, can you pass the wine? All out. wasn't so bad, was it? It'll never be the same. I thought it could, but it'll take some work. It's impossible to see through the gods' eyes. They have a plan, you know. If we could, then we'd know just what to do. I don't think the gods can take credit for this one, Varnavas. An urn is only as strong as its potter, Cassandra. Urns are pretty easy to break. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you.
Zeit, Phobos. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Cassandra, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared his burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Brasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. I heard Cleon was found on the beach. Massacred, no less. It was no worse than what he would have done to his own people. I had to follow through. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Cassandra took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see. 
that would suit a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To Athens, and our promise to return the city to its former glory. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to depart! Nice to have you. So, what next? We could go hunting. Do I look like the type that can defend myself? We won't hunt bears, Irodotos. We'll hunt liars, traitors. You know, the usual big game. Ah! The worst kind of beasts! Where should we head? You could spin the wheel any direction and you'll find a cultist. There's scum everywhere. Then we have nothing to lose. Nothing but time! Let's track them down! And set sail. We have a cult to kill. Amistheus! The gods are real. Help me, please! Silent snake! What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice! They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue! This walking curse is in league with a writhing thread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the Petrified Temple and your doom. What exactly is this creature? Evil, heartless. Unknowable. We must end this girl before she leads a writhing thread right to us. The forest where the creature lives. Where is it? Beyond the petrified temple, north of here. A damned place, haunted by sade and filled with cursed stone. At its center lie ancient ruins from which few return. You mentioned the Ligia. She's. Beyond beauty, beyond grace. A daughter of Artemis. Brave, not like me. What dark prize did the writhing dread offer for her soul? She lives, Mistyos. I know it. This writhing dread has let Ligia live. We'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I'd suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mistyos. Citizens! We must save our city, and these interlopers must bleed. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. That's not possible! No!
safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mistyos. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more, even if it kills me. Love might be the end of us all, but it's a price worth paying. I polished Charon's drachmi long ago, Mistyos. I'm ready. You know, I don't want to call you you forever. My name's Bris. Cassandra. Ligia's waiting for me, Cassandra. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the Dread Ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city. This place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. Be here. What is this place? It's empty of life. We enter the realm of the riding dread. Listen, it's as if sound itself is afraid of what the fog veils. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. These statues are unnervingly lifelike. And their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. If Ligia, if she's... if she's stone, how will we bury her? She'll never meet Haron. Wait! Malaka! Better go after her. Ligia! That's her! Cassandra, she's 
alive. We need to get inside. But I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, her smell. Every night we'd meet at the Dread Ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose. Something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time... Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You are searching for a rose, a gift. Never regret an act of kindness, Brice. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Hios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible! But many believe him. He might know something. You said Ligia knew how to get into the lair. Where exactly is the key? The daughters of Artemis hide their most prized possessions in a cave in their village. It's protected by wild beasts and fierce warriors. The key is shaped like a disc. If they have it, it will be there. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in ancient peril. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there is no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Did you see the creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Cassandra, hurry. <laughs>